Welcome to this short and brief presentation on kamikaze. Probably a lot of you have heard the word uh, kamikaze somewhere uh, down the line, uh, but kamikaze uh, can be most associated with the Pacific War of 1945, especially the uh, the last year of the war. And kamikaze, uh, to summarize, was an attempt by Imperial Japan to overcome the massive weight of U.S. naval forces that were fast approaching the home islands of Kyushu and Honshu for their planned uh, invasion with Operation uh, Olympic. This was prior to the actual atomic bomb at the time. But that was the goal of the U.S. at the time. Military was to invade the mainland. The kamikaze was an attempt by the Imperial Japanese military to, as a last-ditch effort, destroy the overwhelming might of the U.S. Uh, Navy, its carrier force, which was needed uh, for a successful invasion of Kyushu and, and Honshu, the home uh, islands. The kamikazes were initiated during the Battle of Okinawa in great numbers and inflicted substantial damage on U.S. naval forces uh, in Okinawa when the U.S. invaded that, uh, that island, the nearest home island to mainland Japan. Uh, the kamikazes caused significant damage actually to the U.S. Uh, naval forces during that, that campaign. And overall, as an operation, the kamikaze sank more U.S. naval vessels than did conventional attacks throughout the entire war, right? So conventional attacks is using uh, torpedoes, bombs. Uh, the kamikaze proved much more effective in sinking a lot more tonnage, a lot more uh, surface ships, carriers than uh, the conventional method. At that time, the closing uh, months of the Second World War from July onwards, the state of the Imperial Japanese Navy, Army and Air Force was in a perilous, perilous position. Not only was it lacking in natural resources, having uh, been starved and strangled of sources of petroleum, but its actual uh, forces within the Pacific Rim area were greatly reduced, having lost Iwo Jima and Okinawa. The kamikazes were essentially a last-ditch effort in trying to inflict as much casualties as possible on U.S. forces in trying to perhaps persuade them that attacking and invading the homeland would cost them massive amounts of, of casualties. Ultimately, the kamikazes uh, failed uh, just due to the overwhelming strength and might of the U.S. at that time. The U.S. was indeed, as uh, Admiral Yamamoto uh, mentioned a few years back, that by attacking Pearl Harbor, you'll be just waking up a sleeping giant. And that's what exactly happened by 1945. The U.S. was a giant in every uh, respect in terms of, of its military infrastructure and also its deployment against Imperial uh, Japan. Obviously with the nuclear, the atomic nuclear bombings of uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki with the uranium and plutonium uh, bombs, little boy and fat man, there was no need to invade uh, the mainland with Operation uh, Olympic due to the Japanese uh, surrender shortly after the second atomic bombing of uh, Nagasaki. Well, thanks very much for uh, listening just to this very, very brief uh, introduction to Kamikaze. Take care and uh, as always, stay awesome.